my first experience with college was it was a little more different. It was just you know I really didn't pay a lot of attention. I uh, wasn't really into it, I guess. I just went through the motions as far as you know, going to class, doing your homework, and didn't put a whole lot of thought in really my future. I mean, you're asking somebody who's 19, 20, 18, to, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? And it's, it's a pretty intense question. Um, I came back to uh, school, uh, I guess it was 2007, in the summer of 2007, started back. My wife, uh, had just graduated so and we had made the deal I was working at the time and when she got done with school then it was my turn to go back to school and now I mean I'm, I'm here with a purpose and I know what I want to do and so everything that I do is obviously more directed at my end goal I got interested in uh, engineering because uh, that's where I work I work in an engineering firm right now and we're in consulting and so for me to be a little more credible in what I do, obviously I need an engineering degree to do engineering work. A lot easier just working, you know, 40 hours a week than having to go to class and then work and, and do all your homework. Balancing uh, everything is, is, it can be difficult at times. Uh, I have a daughter who's two and we are expecting another one. So there's the, another added pressure, I guess, or another thing that I deal with. Um, the nice thing is that uh, all my classes and my work schedule, I guess, is, is that it, it's all spread out pretty evenly. So it's not, I don't have just this intense 12, 14 hour day to where I, I am drained by the time I get home. So I still have time and energy when I get home to, to spend with my family. I just know that, you know, I got to do this. You know, and my wife and my family's been very supportive of what I'm doing. And my daughter, you know, there's times during the week if I'm gone, when she wakes up, she always asks where I'm at. And, but I don't, I don't see that. And so, but at the end of the day, you know, my wife, when we're talking about it, you know, it's, it's like, oh, I miss that. But I know I'd rather miss some of the small things right now in order to give her everything that, that I want to give her. So and be able to do that later. And so that is stuff that I have to, I have to really focus on. Otherwise, you know, it is, it is tough at times, you know, being a dad, and I mean, it's new to me, and I really, I mean, I like being a dad, I love it. And, but I also know that, you know, being a student now is gonna help me be a better dad to her later on. Uh, to me, I mean, I feel, I feel like I just, I fit in. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't see myself as old, but I mean, it is, it is weird though being, you know, 10 years older than the other students in the class. It's just like, and I don't really think about it a whole lot, but you know, sometimes when you're thinking about it, I'm like, I'm like 10 years older than these kids. It's like, it is funny and it is weird, but I mean, they're all cool. They all, you know, we still hang out and do things. I, I like to hunt and a lot of guys that I hang out with hunt. So we all just talk about that and we'll do that on the weekends. So. It's been cool to me, but when I, there is something that comes up, or uh, you know, working on working on a project or anything like that, it it's very easy to get with uh, some of the other students, and that's the other nice thing, is that a lot of the students are, you know, even though they may be 18 and 19, they're very they're actually supportive of of me coming back, and they're able to help me and work around, you know, if I need to meet with them later or even on the weekends or something like that, you know, a lot of times they'll just meet here on campus, so that we can work on our projects or our classwork together so it's been very helpful. The professors uh, I think sometimes they may have a little more respect I guess for an older student because a lot of times it kind of depends on how they see you act in class. A lot of times the younger students are the ones that are kind of cutting up a little bit and won't pay attention as much and so I think a lot of times I mean, that goes a long way, you paying attention and you giving the teachers support, uh, that'll go a long way with them wanting to help you back. And I think they do respect that a little bit. I guess one of the biggest challenges has been just, uh, has been personally just wanting to stay motivated. Because a lot of times uh, I'll think about what I'm doing and, and, and since I do have a job, it's a little, I think, you know, I could quit school and still make a decent living but is that really what I want and is that really what I want to be able to do for my family and so I guess that's kind of my hardest thing that I deal with is just is wanting to be the best that I can
for my family. And so, and, and balancing that and not necessarily getting to spend all my time that I want to with my family. So that's, that's really been just my biggest issue. So my class schedule is kind of, it's been fairly easy. So as far as uh, working in all my classes and work, uh, ULR uh, fit what I needed and what I wanted. So, and it was my time. So I'm gonna go back at it.